Overnight, the U.S. Secretaries of State and Defense arrived there for America's highest level meeting with President Zelensky since the Russian invasion. They made a series of major announcements about helping Ukraine fight off Russia, particularly in the hotly contested Donbass region. Marcus Moore is there with the latest. Good morning, Marcus. Well, George, good morning. We are in the battered suburb of Irpin, and this is what was left of a shopping center here. There used to be a movie theater, also a bowling alley and shops. And now we are told there are still bodies in this building and more than a dozen unexploded mines as we're learning more about that high stakes meeting overnight. Overnight, top U.S. officials meeting face to face with Ukrainian President Zelensky and his top advisors for the first time in Kyiv. This is part symbolism, but also very substantive. After this high stakes meeting, a senior U.S. official says that U.S. diplomats will be returning to Ukraine in the coming week and that the administration is set to announce a new military aid package for Ukraine and 15 other European countries. You should know, the people of uh, Ukraine should know that uh, we will continue to do everything possible. Uh, to ensure that, that you're successful. The meeting, a major show of solidarity between the two nations. Zelensky thanking them for the U.S. aid, saying no one has given Ukraine such extensive military support. This weekend, amid the backdrop of the war, Ukrainians marking Orthodox Easter, we go inside a church in Kyiv. Ukrainians gather. Among those there, Tatiana, who's praying for her son Roman, who's been on the front line. She says, I hope he's okay, that he will come back. There's no joy for Easter this year, even over the holiday weekend. The Russian offensive showing no signs of slowing. In the southern coastal city of Odessa, this video posted to social media and verified by ABC News shows the moment a Russian missile strikes a residential building killing at least eight people. And to the southeast in the port city of Mariupol, a far-right paramilitary unit now absorbed by the Ukrainian National Guard releasing these drone images showing the destruction in the city. The group also releasing this video showing civilians with children among them taking refuge in a bunker in Mariupol. This woman says, I call on the entire world to help us, please. We want to live in our own city, in our own country. The video cannot be independently verified by ABC News. This comes as Russia says their goal is to establish full control of the eastern Donbas region and southern Ukraine. But the UK Defense Ministry says the Ukrainians have repelled numerous attacks, adding that poor morale and limited time to re-equip has hindered Russian combat effectiveness. When it comes to Russia's war aims, Russia is failing. Ukraine is succeeding. And overnight in Russia, explosions at a fuel depot in Bryansk, seen in videos circulating online. No official confirmation of the cause, but the fire coming at a critical moment as Russia continues its offensive in Ukraine. More U.S. officials are expected to come back to Ukraine in the next week as they prepare to announce additional military aid for the country. And while the fighting has moved to the east, locals say they are concerned that the Russians might come back to the city but they tell me they are not afraid and that they're ready to fight, George. Okay, Marcus, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.